Hey everyone, welcome back to Minecraft Regrowth. Uh, this is episode 13. And before we start, yeah, I, I just want to apologize for the fact that it's been a, a month since I last released a video. This is sort of mainly because it's been the school summer holidays in the UK and I've been looking after my daughter and I didn't want to be sitting around playing Minecraft and recording videos all day because that really wouldn't be much fun for her. There's another couple of weeks of the summer holidays to, to go. So again, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the sort of one video per week done as a result of that. But anyway, here we are. And last time, if you remember, we were down in the nether and we had started off with the reclamation quest. We've got the iron ore and the coal ore that we needed. And there's actually a second part to that, which is to get some tin ore. And then we'll get our rewards of osmium ore and the rutile ore. And before I just sort of head straight down into the nether, I just want to say that I sort of had while well, I was reminding myself of where I was in the game, just had a look at the runes. And as it turns out, the rune of fire, which if you remember, was what I needed in order to get the gold seeds, is actually something I can do now because I've got all the bits for it. So we want gold seeds because then we're going to be able to make some more templates. So can't remember what they're called at the moment um for basically getting some different bits so the, the cast sorry basically for getting some different bits and what it is that i'm after is a better sword for a start off because as i say going down into the nether and potentially dying every time is not really much fun for me it's probably not much fun for you to watch well maybe it is i don't know but yeah, I want to stop that happening. And then, so I'm going to get that set up. And while that is doing what it's doing, I'm going to head back down into the nether. And I'm just going to make my uh, spawn area down there a little bit safer. So I'm just going to get some bits together, probably try to make it so that if some, if I am being chased by a whole bunch of pigmen, that I can actually sort of survive that situation yeah anyway let's just get on with it so in order to make the gold seeds then i'm gonna need to make the rune of fire and in order to make the rune of fire there's a couple of bits that i need to grab and if i just go in i can show you we can make the mana still pretty easy we've got some nether wart now from our recent expedition into the nether we've also got some gunpowder now i think that was from the a fire bat that i killed and yeah we can make some nether brick so let's just head on down here and get those bits together and then we can get that rune started so there is our gunpowder we'll just quickly pop the nether rack into the furnace there and we can make a nether brick what else was it that i needed yeah nether wart i think i've got that on me yes i have and then we just need some mana steel so let's just grab that out and head back over here hopefully there's enough mana left in the mana pool when i previously used it just to get the mana steel together We'll soon find out. Okay, so let's grab our iron and yeah, pop that in there. One, two, three. Excellent, there is. And just one final look, just to make sure I know what I'm doing. I don't need any seeds. Three of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. Right, let's get them in there. So grab that in our hot bar got that got that got that right one nether seed three of those these things never seem to actually want to go on 
one, two, three, there we go, I wasn't standing close enough, one of those, one of those, grab the wand, give it a tap, okay, and that's our rune of fire started off. So, first up, I'm going to go and grab some ladders, because I've got a bit of an idea of how... I'm going to make this safer and basically the spawn area is on a little bit of a hill and I just want to make it difficult for pigmen to get up there. I think I've already potentially already lit it up enough that they can't spawn there. So just grab some wood. There we go. We'll grab some of that. And actually, did I already have some? Yeah. We'll do it that way. That'll make life easier. So let's make some sticks. Don't know how many to make. I think that'll that'll do. We'll just have a stack of those. Let's make some ladders, like so. And what else do we need to grab? I think actually we're potentially. Let's just make the spade yeah that'll do just repair my spade and let's get out of here sleep quickly and I will meet you in the nether see you in a minute okay so we're back we're in the nether and the first thing is I've got this orb thing floating around. Not really sure how dangerous that is, but uh, I'm going to be keeping my eye on that. Now, first thing I want to do in terms of this is I just kind of want to sort of flatten off this area so that it's uh, it's all level. Uh, just grab that. And... Um, Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm not really... doesn't really seem to be bothering me, so... Yeah, so I just want to flatten off this area, get this, uh, get this a bit level, and then we can move on and try to make this pigman-proof. So, I've got these. I think I'm going to chisel these so that they're the same... As this the uh, oh okay oh okay so he does want to damage me oh, it doesn't do a lot of damage and I don't seem to be able to get to it righto yeah so we'll chisel those up and as I say we'll make those into the damaged tiles and then we can get all this floor leveled out so I am gonna quickly go away and get that done and yeah I'll be back when that's all leveled out and hopefully there's another orb over there and yeah hopefully nothing's killed me so I will see you in a minute Okay, I'm back, and so I've just made this whole area a little bit bigger. I've flattened this off all the way around, like I said, and I've put some glass in here just so I've got some protection from the orbs and ghasts, bats, etc., that can get to me regardless. And there's another one of those orbs over here. Be careful because I haven't completely finished this off. And I'm just going to get my sword ready. I found a few ores, but I haven't mined those out yet because I just want to be 100% sure that I'm not going to get a whole raft of pigmen coming down here before I finish. And I've also just stuck a ladder here so I can get easily up and down. The last thing that I really want to do here, just to sort of make this place even better, is I want to have kind of at the bottom like a little trench with some... I've got some iron bars here ready. And what I'll be able to do is, once the pigmen are all chasing me, I'll be able to quickly run up here, then climb down into my trench with the bars, and I'll, I'll actually be able to kill them. 
and then hopefully I can get some gold as well. But yeah, we'll see how that we'll see how that works out. As I said, I do need to go and grab some glass just to finish this off, and then we've I've got some doors as well. I can put those in already. Well, I've only got one door, but I'm going to need I'm going to need two doors there. I think. So I'll have the carpenter's doors there, and that hasn't lined up how I thought it would. Why are they not connected? Fine, we'll break that glass there, and we'll we'll put some put some columns in instead. Use that same use the same material. Yeah, that'll do for now. Like I said, this place it it doesn't look nice. Uh, I'll probably at some point try to make this look a little bit better, but for now, it serves its purpose, does what I want it to do, do that as well. So yeah, relatively happy with how that's uh, going. We've got some stairs there, so I don't have to keep jumping up all the while. And yeah, I'll be back once I've got the bits and pieces together and I've uh, dug my trench down there. Okay, so that's that finished off. Uh, we've finished off the glass in here and I've added the extra door in here. I've turned that into, a, into glass doors as well just because I kind of like the look of those. And yeah, the other thing is I've noticed there's actually another fortress over here. I don't actually know how I didn't notice that before, but I think that's possibly with us, uh, with the skeletons over there. See that well from here, but yeah, when we need that, that's probably going to be quite handy because that looks like it's quite easy to get across to. In the meantime, I really just want to check out and see how well this is all working. Now, I can hear a ghast somewhere, I think. Uh, not quite sure where it is at the moment. There's another one of those orbs there as well, so just guess I want to be quite careful about that so let's just mine out one of these ores obviously that's diamond ore so I can't mine that just yet let's see that needs cobalt whoa there's another orb let's perhaps just grab some of this quartz and just see how that's working so I can hear straight away the pigman getting annoyed with me. So let's just drop down into my little area down here. And no, that's not worked quite how I thought it would do. There's no oh fire bats. Right, oh, that's that. Sorted. Gotta admit, these fire bats are quite irritating. I think I'm probably just gonna have to. Can't grab that either. I can hear a dog as well. Again, I'm not really sure. I'm a little bit worried about this area at the top here because I sort of get this feeling that uh, I could get attacked from up here. I'm not going to worry about that too much just now. I think what we'll do is we're just going to we'll just drop down here and just have a quick run over here. And there are an absolute ton. There is an absolute ton of stuff spawned now. And yeah, something just. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. I'm not very happy with it. I'm just going to get straight back up here and just try to evade whatever that is. I'm guessing it's potentially one of these orbs. So I'm not actually having much luck in the nether at the moment. Let's just grab some food so I start to heal up. And... Sort of the food that I've got on me as well. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm not sure where these explosions were coming from, but 
I think it's safe to say I'm relatively safe here. I'm kind of not happy that I'm not healing up. But yeah, there we go. So, whoa, where did that come from? It almost feels like there's something invisible blowing me up here because... Ah, what's that up there? That's potentially one of those dogs. Do they throw fireballs? I didn't think they did. Hmm. Okay, well, I am... Um... Can I get any of this stuff? Yeah, well, grab the copper ore, so we'll grab, we'll grab that, and just fill that hole in. We, grab the, we can't grab the redstone yet. What we'll do then is we'll head back into the overworld, and we'll just grab these gold seeds. I want to grab some better weapons and that, so... Just wait for that to all respawn back in. So we can kind of throw our living rock onto there now and get that finished up like so. Then give that a quick tap with the wand. And there is our rune of fire. And then in order to get the gold seeds then, so we need... Some essence of gold, which I think I've got. Some essence of copper. I've got the fire rune. Definitely got the rune of earth. Need some more regular essence and some essence seeds. So I'll get those bits together. We'll get the gold seeds and we can plant those down. And then that means in the next episode, we are going to have gold and we can start to make some better stuff. So I'll be back once I've got the required bits together. Okay, I'm back and I've got the required bits. So let's just get those all on. So in an essence seed and a gold essence, a rune of earth, a rune of fire. We need a copper essence and one, two, three, four of those. Just make sure they're all on there. They are. Let's give that a tap with the wand. Okay, so we are finally able to make some gold seeds. So that is, that's going to take a while just to finish up. And I don't really want to say go back down into the nether until I've at least got something better. I'm probably going to make a bow as well because those orbs oh, i just want to see if i can kind of shoot them down really because they're getting quite annoying i couldn't see a ghast when i was down there a minute ago that was shooting me and yeah i'm not i'm not really sure i perhaps need to check up on whether or not orbs fire some kind of you know thing like a ghast or whatever whether they shoot fireballs but yeah, I'm going to finish the episode here. Again, sorry there's been such a gap between episodes. Once the school holidays are over, the schedule will be back to normal. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If you've liked the video, please leave us a like. And until next time, take care. Bye.